This activity allows a teacher to create a checklist, to-do list, or task list for their students to work through. The teacher can monitor the student's progress as they tick off each of the items on the list. Items can be required or optional. Students are presented with a simple bar showing how far they've progressed through the required or optional items. They can add their own private items to the list if permitted. A checklist is added in the same way as other Moodle activities. The only required settings are a name and an introduction. The settings section has a number of options that controls how the checklist behaves. Click on the Show More link to see the full set of options. User can add their own items. If this is set to Yes, students can extend the checklist by adding their own items to it. However, any added items are only ever visible to the student. Updates by defines who can mark items as complete on the checklist. Options are student only, teacher only, and student and teacher. Add due dates to calendar. If this is set to yes, any dates associated with items on the checklist are added to the Moodle calendar. Teachers can add comments. Set to yes to allow teachers to comment on checklists. Maximum grade. Enter the grade for the checklist. There is no option to create an ungraded checklist. Instead, set to zero or leave blank. Email when checklist is complete. When a checklist is complete, a notification email can be sent to the student who completed it, all the teachers on the course, or both. Show course modules in checklist. If this is set to yes, it will automatically add a list of all the resources and activities in the current section or whole course into the checklist. Items not required in the checklist can be hidden later. Check off when modules complete. This will automatically check off items in your checklist when completion tracking is switched on. Each activity is checked off when the rule for completion for that activity is met. Lock teacher marks. If this is set to yes, then once a teacher has saved a yes mark, they will be unable to change it. Unless you choose to show course modules, you'll be taken straight to the Edit Checklist tab when entering a new checklist for the first time, as these have no items to display. Add new items to the checklist by filling in the text box and clicking on the Add button. You can switch between the different item types by clicking on the box in front of the item name. You can choose the status of each item in the list. A heading, bold text, a required item to be completed, normal black text, an optional item, italicized gray text. The colored square icon after the item name can be used to change the color of text. It will switch from the current color to the fill color of the box. Repeatedly clicking on the square cycles through different colors. The pencil icon allows you to update the name of the item. If you click the Edit Dates button before editing, you'll be able to also add or edit a completion date. The right and left arrows can be used to indent or unindent the item. The up and down items can be used to move the position of the item in the list. The cross is used to delete the item from the list. 
The plus sign can be used to add an item below each one of these. While you're creating your list, click on the Preview tab to see how it will appear to the student. The student also sees a progress bar and any extra items they've added if they have been allowed to do so. Once the activity is underway, you can click on the View Progress tab to see a table of the progress of all the students towards completing the list. Click on the Show Progress Bars button for an alternative view of the student's progress. In both views, you can click on the Hide Optional Items button to just show progress on completing the required items on the checklist. Also, you can click on the magnifying glass next to a student's name to see the full view of their checklist, apart from items added by the student which are not shown. If you enabled comments in the settings, you can click on the Add Comments button in this individual student view to comment on their checklist. Additionally, there is a checklist block that integrates with the checklist activity. Each block can be configured to display information from one checklist, but you can have multiple blocks if you have multiple checklists. Teachers see a mini progress bar for each student but students only see a progress bar for their own activity.